You guys ready? We're ready. Yeah. ready. yeah. Hey, what's up, you guys? Chelsea Briggs here with Billboard, and we are on the record with Everide. Woo. What's going on? What's up, guys? What's up? Hello. I'm so excited to chat with you. We're excited. Um, let's start from the beginning. Uh, for those that don't know, how'd you guys kind of uh, first get together? Mm. Go for it. Oh, okay, it's cool. you, Josh. Um, so, I guess, well, about a year and a half ago? About, yeah, a year, year and a half ago, Hayden and I decided uh, to meet up for lunch. We hadn't seen each other in a, in a few years. Yeah. Um, and we originally met, like, six years ago. Uh, on yeah. the One Direction tour. Okay. Uh, he was in one of the opening bands, and uh, we just kind of kicked off. He's an, like an incredible guitarist. And uh, yeah, I was just like, dude, one day we're going to start back. I was going to ask if you said it back then. Like, it's going to happen did. one we day. Did. That's cool. We did. We, we'd had like contact over like the years where yeah. he'd be like, hey, like there's some stuff that you could drum on. I'd be like the vice versa, you know? Yeah. And then we decided one day, Let, dude, let's just do this. Literally. Yeah. I was moving to LA, so I was like, I think this is the right time to like, start a band you know um and then yeah so we we just started doing you know just getting together and writing some stuff and then this guy <laughs> this one <laughs> this guy from a mutual friend crossed our paths with hayden cool. yeah. um and it was one of those it was one of those moments where it was like oh you know i know someone who can sing and we were like okay i cool. mean yeah you know, every everybody <laughs> is trying to hard push someone to do something you know yeah and then hayden actually saw a video of sean singing and like I'm months not, later too yeah I remember, I remember him sending me a message being like, this is our singer. Yeah. He sent me a video. I was like, okay, like, <laughs> let's go to New York. Let's go and hang out. We let's did. go That's see if we vibe with him. And uh, like a f <laughs> two weeks. Obviously like, you vibed. Yeah. Like, like two weeks really later, we're just like, okay, cool. We're in a band. Yeah. But were you sold right away? Because sometimes he was sold. It. It, I mean, <laughs> we sent, we sent so you, confident. we sent him. Uh, yeah. They sent me a couple of like demos. Yeah. Back, so just like instrumentals. The same day like, he sent like all this you know, stuff top back. Top line over. And yeah. I just like threw a bunch of melodies and some lyric ideas and I cool. shot him back. And yeah. I was hooked. And so it just worked out. Perfect. Yeah. It was so natural. He, I mean, yeah. it was perfect timing for everything. I'd so. never heard anyone with a range like this. I know. I mean, that's like. <laughs> it was just done. This yeah. is this is the dream team for me. Talk yeah. about Everide. How did that name come about? What was that conversation like you guys had? I'll talk again. This is oh, also God. a Josh story. Josh, story. Josh, story. Josh, Josh likes to talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, so yeah, probably two, three years ago, maybe three years ago, I started sponsoring a child uh, through an organization that I do a lot of work with called Food for the Hungry. Hmm. Uh, and the kid was in Rwanda. So I've been sponsoring him for like two years. And they said they, the charity came to me and said, would you like to go and film like a little mini documentary and meet your sponsor child? So I was like, yeah, that'd be amazing. You know, um, went out there and his name is Everide. Cool. So yeah, we, uh, we hung out and one of the camera guys on the tour, uh, on the documentary knew that we were trying to find a band name. This is like in the middle of us forming a band. And he's like, bro, that's your band name right there. That guy's name is your band name. Like, I've never heard that before. Yeah. yeah. So I messaged it to these guys and it was like, History. He's the History. coolest kid too. Yeah. But yeah. he has a band, totally. <laughs> a band named after him. He's, he's so good. Cool. He's 13 now, I believe. But yeah. the yeah. amazing thing of the story, he's actually not in poverty anymore. His, wow. Him and his whole village That's are like awesome. completely out of it. So. That's so cool. And it gives Super like a new, another meaning to your band. Totally. Yeah. Kind of cool. Exactly. When you get up there and sing every night, I'm sure that's sort of like, it's, it's, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, let's talk about the, the single Heartless that you guys just released a couple weeks ago. Definitely. Congratulations. Thank you. Fans Thanks. are loving it. Um, why, why that song? Why was that the first song you guys wanted to put out as a band? Honestly, I, it was kind of an accident. <laughs> it was. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was a big <laughs> accident. So we had like 12 or 13 songs written and <laughs> We had just, it was back in January of 2017, and we just had launched like all the social media accounts, and we were all talking and discussing. And we we're like, we have to put some kind of teaser out there, like even if it's 15 seconds, 30 seconds, just so they get an idea of like what our sound is gonna be. Yeah. Because like, otherwise, they're believing in this thing that they don't even know what it sounds like yet, which is cool. But so we we were like, oh, let's just choose. Yeah, this let's song. just pick a random <laughs> song and I'm pretty close sure, your I'm pretty eyes. Sure just sort of the only one that we'd actually completed. Okay. Like, yeah. Like, like production, production, everything. Production, yeah. yeah. We, it was the only one that we were confident in putting out there, cool. and so we put it out, and we like were like fifteen seconds, fifteen <laughs> seconds, clip, fifteen second clip, and we had no idea what to expect, what uh -huh. kind of reaction it would get, and it was definitely way overwhelming because we yeah. thought it would be like, ah, whatever. Like people saw it and were just thought about something else, but they saw it and caught on right, like right yeah. away. They so loved the cool. song, so we we're like, ah, oh, okay, this is, <laughs> we're stuck this with is this it. <laughs> 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 But that's got to be cool. Obviously, you guys kind of already have this built-in fan base because you guys have a very impressive resume. Um, talk to me about sort of your background and how it, it positioned you to be where you're at right now and, and how it's prepared you for this moment, really. 
Go ahead, Hank. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, we all come from backgrounds from, I mean, we've all been doing this since we were like three. Like, Josh has played drums since he was three. I played guitar since I was three. And Sean's been, you know, singing since he like was in you. the womb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, we all come from different backgrounds. And uh, Josh and I are more of like the touring, like, session musicians. Um, I played for a bunch of different artists, Demi Lovato, Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm the band Perry, and then like I was the guitar player on Glee, which was awesome to do that whole side of things. But um, yeah, I mean, Josh can tell you, I mean, we've all done so many things, it's like yeah, crazy. Yeah. And then like, yeah, Josh I was, was in a little band. I was out on the, road, uh, on the road with One Direction since like 2011. I'm sure he has a lot of great stories. Oh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, it's, it's funny actually, it's like, it's a huge blur. Yeah, and I believe then, it. Like yesterday in the studio, I sat and looked at a few photos from like throughout the years. And I was like, whoa, I forgot we did this and this and this. And it was like, yeah, trip down memory lane. I've definitely got some pretty wild stories. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, and I come from more of like a theatrical background. So I was in uh, American Idiot on Broadway mm -hmm. with Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day. And that Very was cool. an insane experience. I mean, he's a rock god and legend and somebody I certainly look up to. And then uh, I did the revival of Rent as well and so come from like the you know eight shows a week you know just doing it over and over again so that's definitely what built eight up. shows a week yeah did you have to do two in one day yes yeah two two there's a matinee two on saturday and oh, sunday and then, yeah <laughs> so you build up the stamina you know it's yeah. basically like going on the road because you're constantly doing the show every day yeah and it's not an easy green day the uh the songs are not easy to sing you know it's very rock in your face forward so but you're exactly. moving yeah, like yeah. Performing. Oh, moving. gosh it's like boot like, camp you know yeah a lot of movement so so yeah. for you guys kind of going back to your music uh what what do you what do you want to say to people that haven't heard your music what what do you, can they expect coming up in the near future with the music you're working on yeah we have a lot of exciting things going on we're actually in the studio right now uh recording for hopefully an ep maybe album 2018 okay we'll see. um but you know we're really just diving in um you know head first yeah i mean our message is pretty our our music is very like happy like optimistic music because that's literally who we are yeah you know we're that's the kind of stuff we write we like feel good songs and you know like to have a good time and you know it, hey they care every single song carries a message you know so i would say and we also yeah, try not to take ourselves too seriously yeah so. which is good definitely. Definitely. he does yeah. no <laughs> but yeah, I am, I am serious the, josh I am over the the on a serious end. note i'm the most serious person in no, the i mean world. i think i think we try to tackle <laughs> a lot of subjects you know obviously the fun like party songs that everybody wants to dance to and then we have the more serious songs like there's a lot of people dealing with a lot of heavy stuff in the world mm -hmm. right now and um you know we've all dealt with anxiety depression um and, it, and it's really important to get that message out that you know you're not the only one going through it i mean totally. it's been in the media you know very recently a lot like um uh, uh rip to uh, chester bennington he's yeah. one of our biggest inspirations yeah. mm -hmm. um and you know we look up to him and it's, it's just sad to see like you know such an amazing talent but there it's happening and yeah. you got to be aware of it and we have to spread we have to spread love and we have to have each other's backs. Absolutely. Totally. What, what is the creative process like with you guys when you're in the studio? What kind of, what roles do you guys each play? I mean, it's, it's kind of differed over the different songs we've done. I mean, when we first started, it was, I was still in, in England. I was just kind of just moving over right. to LA. So I, I had my studio over there. So they'd send a track over like some ideas. I'd lay down some drums and some bass down uh, in my studio and then he was on the road at yeah. one point. He recorded the guitars in a hotel yeah, room. Yeah, all the heartless Jeez. guitars were in a hotel room. <laughs> and then he was in New York. So <laughs> Pretty at one amazing. point, we were like <laughs> spread out across the world. Yeah. So it was like, yeah. But yeah. I mean, now now we just, we get into a studio and we all we sit write and we, we yeah. write. You yeah, know. sometimes we'll have like, you know, come up with a title idea first and mm -hmm. try to build a song around that. Other times it's like Hayden has a awesome riff on guitar and I'll start singing a melody over and then Josh yeah. drops in the beat and, you know, that it just but it's different for every song. So. Cool. And how many songs would you say you have written right now for this EP album <laughs> that's coming? Now, well, we're going to have to choose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to narrow it down because we have a lot written. So We have like what, eight? 18, 18, 20. 19, yeah, yeah. 18 and 19. Okay, okay. For, All right. Uh, so that's, a, I mean, that's for an, an EP. Album. Yeah, so. it's an album. Well, we're going to yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna pick probably it's, five. It's yeah. quite, it's five quite a broad horizon of like styles. It's, it's all keeping that kind of like pop rock kind of mm -hmm. vein, but it's all, it kind of darts off. In yeah, it darts in different directions. Different directions. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty cool. Different directions. Different directions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not one direction, but different directions. Someone told me that as a band name. They, they said that back Somebody in the day. Somebody said like, that. I remember yeah, that. You should, you should be another direction. Yeah. Another, another direction. direction. <laughs> um, so 2018, we can expect album, new music. What else are you guys looking forward to the rest of this year? Our Touring. music video, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Touring. For Heartless. Yeah, Heartless music video. We're doing that at the end of this month with 
an awesome director and mm -hmm. yeah we're excited cool and what producers are you working with any anyone you can tease right now yeah i yeah, mean we're right. working uh, right now in the studio with a guy named colin britton who's incredible Killer. he just did the uh, last all-time low cool record. And and that's cool I, I can hear that in your guys's music a little bit yeah, that all-time yeah. low feel that's he's cool. working on a new record which i don't think i can say no. so okay it's no, really, definitely. really cool stuff he, yeah i mean he's yeah he's he's the man but he's then we also we, we we do a lot of kind of up-and-coming producers that yeah. we were friends with and some people that um maybe don't have any huge huge hits but they're hungry and they're incredible, incredible producers. So. Very cool, yeah. very cool. And who, what other bands are inspiring you guys right now that you're sort of looking to to, to get inspired for this? I mean, Linkin Park year. was definitely a big inspiration mm. to us. Uh, to us, uh, Green Day is one of my biggest inspirations. That's the cool thing about us. We all have, we all have yeah, kind different. of different inspirations, mm -hmm. which when you amalgamate them all together, kind of creates our sound, which is really cool. So those are some of mine, but what are some of yours? Like old classic rock bands yeah. I love, like Zeppelin, Van Halen, just old bands. But, I, you know, I listen to everything. Yeah. So it's, you know. Yeah. I'm the same. I mean, yeah. I like anything from like anything old. Like I love bands like you know, Toto. Toto, Toto is sick. Mm -hmm. um, who else? And like Linkin Park. I like all the really heavy stuff. Like really brutally heavy stuff. Cool. <laughs> but then you know, I, I listen to Pink every so often. I do. <laughs> Pink, I listen to Pink's off. You took you took her hair. You Pink you like awesome. the hair? That would be a killer stuff. collab. <laughs> it yeah, was, that would be. That would be it was actually red, but it's kind of faded. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> um, and have fun. have the One Direction boys at all reached out to you? Do they know you're starting? You started your own band, and have they given you any advice or anything like that? Uh, I saw I saw two of them last year. Um, I think Nile and Liam I saw, and I showed them some of the stuff, and I, th I, th I think I showed Liam some of the stuff, and he he he, he liked it. So. <laughs> But no, I've, I've, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't actually been in direct contact for a, a, a while. But it's probably hard once you're on the you're on tour for so long, and then you sort of take a step back, and everyone's doing their own thing. Yeah, so. well, that's the thing. They're all like conquering the world, so it's, yeah, <laughs> you know, they're they're, they're doing a lot. So it, it's hard to pin people down, but it's cool. Yeah, has any of their, their music direction surprised you at all where they've gone with it? Because they've all gone very for yes any and, for all of you guys, you yes can answer that no. too. Uh, I mean, not really. It kind of is each one's who they are, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, I knew Harry was going to do something more along that, that line because that's just him. Mm -hmm. That's That to me is like when I listen to his music, that reminds me of like his personality is his music. So, And Niall's the same. Niall loves the whole acoustic. Mm -hmm. you know? I remember he started playing the guitar when we were on the road. So it's like he would never put the thing down mm -hmm. ever. That's cool. So, you know, now he's he's in his own. He's doing his own stuff. It's It's amazing. Very cool. Well, stoked for him. well, we're stoked for you guys. Thank New yeah. music coming out 2018. Excited. Ever ride. Thank you so much for hanging out Thanks with us. Thank you so much for having us. And we will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.